The Bible begins with this sentence, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The writer tells us specifically that the whole earth and everything on it was created by God. That means matter matters. Six times in the first chapter of the Bible, God says that his creation is good. At the end of creating everything, he looks and declares that it is all very good. Matter matters because God says matter is good. Why am I stressing this so much? The Bible tells us to value this life and this world as God's good creation. It explains why God has gone to such great lengths to redeem not only human souls, but the whole creation. Ultimately, the fact that matter matters so much to God helps us make sense of the Incarnation when God became flesh in Jesus. For centuries, people who follow the God of the Bible have had to fight against the idea that the world does not really matter to God. People have a tendency to devalue the things that we can see and to think that the invisible things, spiritual things, are all that really matters. In the second and third centuries, Christians defended the Bible's view against a very popular but very false teaching known as Gnosticism. Gnosticism taught that the spirit is good, but the physical things are evil. They believed that the real you, your spirit, was trapped inside of your body longing to break free from the physical world. People who believe that denied the goodness of creation, the reality of the incarnation and the eternal value of this world. Thankfully, the church stood its ground and maintained the fact that God's creation is good. If we believe that matter matters, we will live differently than if we believe that matter is evil. For one thing, we will care about the world God created and entrusted to us. For another, we will understand that our bodies are valuable and should be cared for and used for God's glory. We will embrace the Bible's concern for people's physical well-being, and we will share the good news of Jesus regarding salvation from sin and the life to come. Along with all of that, we will also be set free to enjoy God's creation, its beauty and complexity and usefulness, within God's guidelines, of course, and we will look forward to the new heaven and the new earth God has promised for us. Matter matters. Never forget it.